woman who taught me the beauty of monogamy. She's a friend of That means I'm single again. Oh, oh behave! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you get the guac? Huh? The guac. What are you talking about? The the guacamole for your sister's quinceanera. Tell me you got the guac. Madre de Dios! I forgot the guac. Look at yourself. This place is a freaking pigsty. And this is how you're living? And you forgot the guacamole for your sister's quinceanera. Let's get the guac. <laughs> So what are we doing? Um, we need to get the guac. Where do we get guac from? I don't know, the guac store? It's crazy that we finally got this guac from the key food in such little time. I know, it was so crazy. Like, I can't believe that guy also forgot the guacamole for his sister quinceanera. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. I mean, what are the odds yeah. of that ha- Wait, what's he doing here? Oh, no. I feel like something else is about to happen. Fork over the green, boys. You're gonna have to come get it from my cold, dead hands. Holy guacamole! Santa Maria's guac! Oh no! Oh, I keep... No. You don't chop! I keep kicking the guac with my hand, I keep... I just wanted to walk. So, in the end, Jack and Dee Dee never got to enjoy their guac. After Jack dropped it and Dee Dee continually failed to pick it up, Dee Dee accidentally kicked a hole in the container. By the time they finally got back to Jack's house for his sister, Santa Maria's Quintanera, all of the delectable avocado sauce leaked out while Jack and Dee Dee escaped the man from key food. That man was later hospitalized due to the deadly judo chop, which left him in critical condition, and he never made it to his own sister's quinceanera. Since the guac never made it into the party, Jack was ashamed to enter his own house and waited outside with Dee Dee until the quinceanera ended. So, I guess the moral of the story is, never forget the guacamole.
Alright, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear lord.